Hi everyone. So for my selection of Valentine wines this year, I have what I consider to be a, an outstanding lineup of wines from France, Spain, and one from Australia. Um, I think that we're all sort of probably having a little bit of cabin fever. Um, I know I am. So these are wines that are definitely um, uh, maybe wines to pair with your meal, but also just to indulge a little bit. Um, it's the Sunday of a long weekend. So I selected these with that in mind. So we'll start off with my pink bubbles, the rosé bubbles. This is um, from Spain, Reventos y Blanc de Neat. Um, this sparkling wine is from a family that's been making wine since 1497 in Spain. So in my opinion, if you've been making wine that long, you know what you're doing. This is a blend of traditional grapes that will go into cava um, and then a little monastrel. So that's the, the rosé here. So this is extra brut, which actually means it is extra dry. So the absence of sweetness is very noticeable on this. That's delightful. So there's a lot of red fruit in there. Again, that nice acidity. Um, this I love on its own as an aperitif, but I also think it's fantastic with um, fresh oysters. Um, when I just sipped that just now, I thought of an arancini ball, something like really crisp and cheesy would probably be nice as well. And fried and fried anything, of course, with the, with the bubbles. And the retail price on this is about $28 or $29. So moving over to hopping from Spain to France, I have a lovely rosé, the M. Duvin, which is Spirit of Wine. This is a Grenache and Cinso blend. And look at that lovely bottle. Uh, this is dry for a rosé. I drink rosé year-round. I don't just distinguish it for summer sipping. Uh, let me take a quick sniff and sip. This really has a nice note of apricot in there, um, along with some melon and, again, red fruit and a little bit of spice. Aperitif as well, um, also with some soft cheeses. I, so, I sort of like to sip rosé in February and think that it's August. Um, <laughs> nice summer weather but again this will pair nicely with a whole range of foods but I do like to start off with it and again I think cheeses maybe even some charcuterie would be nice with this uh, and the retail on this is about um 19 18 or 19 dollars um, so beautiful rosé moving over to hopping back to Spain um, I have a white wine this is the uh, Joan Gine Blanc from Priorat primarily known for its red wines but they make some stellar white wines here this is mostly Grenache Blanc, uh, but it does have some Viognier and a grape called Pedro Jimenez in it, um, and that gives it its definite unique flair. This is medium bodied and dry with a lot of minerality, but it also has a certain richness to it. Pear and spice, I would put this with pork and chicken dishes, um, also some nice cheeses. I really think that's just absolutely lovely. Um, also some richer seafood, probably scallops, definitely. Uh, maybe some um, seafood fettuccine would be nice with this. And this retails for about $30, maybe, yeah, around $30, I'd say. So all beautiful selections. Now shifting over to our reds, um, I have here, this is from Australia. This is the Unico Zillo um, Truffle Hound. This is uh, sort of an homage to it, uh, Italy. The grapes that are in this are Nebbiolo and Barbera, which they are, those are famous for what they produce in Piedmont, Italy. However, these winemakers have tried, um, tried it out in Australia with fantastic success. It's not as rich um, and heavy a wine as you might find in Italy. It's a little bit brighter, a little more acidity here. But I find that there's a lot of red fruit notes, maybe a little earth and leather too. Mm. Truffles, of course, because of the earthy earthiness. Mushroom risotto, um, any sort of comfort food, um, Italian meatballs, bolognese sauce with pasta would be lovely with this, um, especially in the, these cold days and the snowstorms that we've been having. And this retails for $20. And then moving over to um, my true treat here. This is um, something remarkable and special uh, and, and not often found these days. Uh, this is a Bordeaux. This is from Pomerol. This is from the famed house um, Lafitte Rothschild. Most of the classified first growth Bordeaux wines range in the $1,000 price tag, making them um, out of reach for most of us mere mortals. So for that reason, a lot of these houses produce um, second labels. 
So they, they do that to produce quality wine to offer high-end, beautiful Bordeaux, but that aren't at the original kind of price point. So um, this is Premier Cru, but not classified. This is the Blaison de l'Evangile. It's from the Chateau de l'Evangile. Um, again, the second label from Pomerol. So it's primarily Merlot with a little bit of Cab Franc. Um, it's velvety, opulent. You have those beautiful Merlot notes in there. Uh, rich red fruits, uh, some a little cedar, and a, a hint of vanilla also on that, I think. Um, I don't like to do anything too elaborate for food with this wine. You don't want to overwhelm it. So I would stick with sort of a nice beef, maybe beef wellington, um, steaks, roast chicken, also something with mushrooms because there's a distinct earthy note in this as well. I have to just take a little sip here. Mm, and the beautiful aromas. 2017 is a remarkable vintage. If you also like, if you prefer um, a Cabernet Bordeaux, this is Merlot driven, you can hop over. They also did a Paulac um, uh, version as well, the Moulin de Duhart, um, which is available again from the same house. So this retails in the $70 range and this is usually in the $55 range. Um, it's again, it's pretty rare to find something of this caliber um, at this price point. So, um, and finally, I will end with my treat. Um, you always have, I tend for the sweet on Valentine's Day. Um, this is a lovely lemon blueberry mousse. I would probably pair this with, I usually go bubbles with sweet. Um, so I would put it with the uh, Reventos Blanc here. Uh, and this particular um, lovely mousse came from my friends at the prep kitchen in Damascata. So I can't wait to dig into this as soon as I'm done taping. So that should do it for my uh, Valentine selections for this year. Enjoy your long weekend and cheers.